So when you're in your seller central, come over here, come to brand brands and then brand referral bonus. Now, something to note, you do need to be brand registered for this. If you're not brand registered, then you will not see this because you won't, you actually probably won't even see this tab of brands. So you click brand referral bonus and this will tell you all about it. You do have to resubmit tax information, um, but that's easy to do. And this tells you how it works. This is that statement I read to you earlier. And then if you have frequently asked questions are down here. And then you might, not, it might not look like this. Um, it might say begin, ref, begin generating tags or something like that if you've never done it. Mm -hmm. um, now, my attribution, when I click this, this looks a lot different than what you all will have. We were actually beta with this. And so we've had it for about probably a year to year and a half. Whereas in like they just released it probably within the last three months. And so yours will look a lot different because I was in one of my client's accounts and it looked completely different than this. And so this is what mine looks like, but just know they actually, what they did with the, the new setup is they made it look more like um, Seller Central's campaign manager. So it looks like you're actually in campaign manager. Mine is more like a vendor. And so mm. this is what vendors will look like. So you'll have your advertiser and it gives you the exact steps right here. Very simple to do. You do have to enroll. That's one thing to keep in mind. You do have to enroll to get your bonus. I'm going to actually close that. So I'm going to click on the advertiser. And then this is what it looks like. So you can see how many campaigns we have running. Um, the last 30 days we've generated, uh, I guess it doesn't add it up for you, but you can see all the sales we've generated from this strategy. I was telling you before, we're spending about 5,000 a month for this strategy, um, but we're trying to amp that up to 25,000 by Q1 of next year. And so within the next three months, we're trying to ramp it up pretty quickly because it's, it's working so incredibly well. Um, but the first thing we want to do is we want to download our search term report, which I've already done, and you can sort it however you want to. But what I did is I sorted it by sales. And so my top sales terms are at the top, all the way down to my bottom sales terms. And what I like to do is try to find five to 10 that are very similar. And so eyelid wipes, eyelid scrub, eyelid wipes right there, tea tree wipes, eye wipes, See, there's a couple more different ones. Um, that's a competitor. So there's about, that's a good amount. I'm just gonna color these blue. I'm gonna copy those. So those are my five to 10 search terms that I'm gonna be using for this strategy. Um, I have a little, let's head over here to Google. So here's my Google campaign. And what we're gonna do is just create a new campaign and we're going to optimize for sales and this you can you can play with this optimize it for website traffic if you're just trying to get more traffic to your listing sales because it's going to show to more people that want sales um, we're going to do a search campaign so a search campaign is when somebody's on google and they search for a word that's what you're going to show up for display is shown all over the internet Lots of impressions, lower click-through rate. Shopping ads, you've probably seen those. Um, videos is YouTube. And I have not really played with these, so I don't know much about those two. But they, it's kind of their AI software that is these two campaigns. So I still work on search because I like these to be very manual. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hit continue. We can ignore that one. And so I'm just going to call this one O2 Google. Ads. And then I'm going to put... Eyelid wipes, just the product that we're going after. Amazon attribution, name it whatever you want. I turn off these two. I don't find them to be as advantageous and you'll spend a lot more. And I just want to show up on Google. And so if you show up on their search network, they have lots of partners like Yahoo, Bing, not Bing, but Yahoo and other search engines that they'll show on as well. I find Google to be one of the best. Locations, only the territory that you're advertising for. So if you're just doing the UK, just do UK. If you're just doing Germany, just do Germany. Languages, you can leave that alone. Audio segments, you can leave that alone. I like to start at about a $25 a day budget because I'm a little more aggressive. But if you don't want to be as aggressive, start at $5. That's all you need. 
All right, and then what do you want to focus on? We're actually going to make this manual. And so you want to come down here to this little blue link right here. Click that. Of course, it's not recommended. And then you're going to select your, your bid strategy, which is manual. And they really don't like it when you do this. And then I unclick increase conversions with enhanced CPC. What this does is it gives you the most control to do, the, to, to do your bidding. And that's what I like to do. Because with Google, they have great AI software for all this. The problem is this isn't a typical campaign that you're setting up. Their pixel is not on your Amazon product listing. And so you want to be manually tracking this. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a little bit. All right, so these are just site links. You don't have to worry about that, but you can. Um, site links are just when you have an ad, you'll have your main ad, and then you'll have all these site links below it. And you can kind of add more to that. So you could add other Amazon products in there as well. I haven't done that yet, but it's something that we do. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start out at one cent. We're gonna come down here and just paste all those keywords. And then you can see at one cent, we're not gonna get any clicks per day. And then we just kind of go up and down to find the most amount of clicks we're gonna get for our daily budget. And then you can always change your daily budget down here too. So if we went all the way up to a dollar, what would it do? We'd get 41 clicks per day at an average cost per click of 60 cents. You're paying 60 cents to get somebody from Google searching for the search terms that you put in all around your product, eyelid wipes, eyelid scrubs, eyelid wipes, eye wipes, your competitor, your brand name, I'm just going to put one more in here. That's my brand name, just without anything else. Um, eye cleaning wipes, tea tree eyelid wipes, tea tree oil wipes. So everything is around those search terms. And we're going to get 41 clicks a day. So somebody that's typing that in is probably a pretty warm person that is looking to buy something like that. And then we're trying to get them over to Amazon to buy. So we'll get 41 clicks to our listing per day as a result of that. That's 41 people going from Google to Amazon, external traffic that Amazon loves. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna play with this a little bit more because even though 41 clicks sounds great and 61 cents per click is great, let's see if we can go a little lower and get more clicks. So you can see that we went down to 50 cents. We're only getting 18 cents per day. Let's go up to 75. There's 31. Let's go to 85, 35. So I think $1 might be our winner. Yeah, and that pretty much spends the budget. That's that's the goal, is you want to spend yeah. the budget. But you want to get the most clicks out of that budget. And so, yeah, uh, dollar, dollar looks like it's it. So you mm -hmm. just kind of play up and down with your default bid. And you're not always going to spend a dollar on a click. But that's that's the goal. And you th think about this. On Amazon, I'm paying five bucks a click for those keywords. I think you saw some of them. Um, let's see, CPC. Now, that one's 76 cents because it's brand. $5 a click, four seventy eight a click. That's a brand mm -hmm. one. That's a brand, 489 a click. So you can see we're spending a lot, 335 against our competitor. Our competitor is cheaper than our general search terms. Mm -hmm. 423, 291, 324. And so on Google, I'm spending 61 cents. And yes, on Amazon, they're they're looking to buy when they type in that keyword. But so the same same thing with Google. If they're typing those words in, they're probably looking to buy. And so I'm happy to spend 61 cents a click. It's going to be great. Yeah. So we're going to come down here and hit save and continue. And we're just going to write a little bit of ad copy. So the best way to do this is if you can make the ad copy as specific as possible towards that search term, they're going to be more likely to click. And so let's go back to these search terms and look at the ones that have the most impressions. And so you can see that's 8,000 right here for eyelid wipes, eyelid scrub, 20,000 impressions. And so we may want to go around that eyelid scrub category. So 20,000. Um, but I'm going to do eyelid wipes because we're more of an eyelid wipe. And so what we'll do, and these are tea tree wipes. So we'll, we'll type in Mediviz tea tree eyelid wipes. Save on Amazon. I can't, you can't say Amazon. I think we have a $5 off coupon for these. Let me just double check that. So yeah, you can see that nice green $5 off banner. Mm. So save $5 today. 
shop on Amazon. So you can't say Amazon, but. Oh, yeah. is that an Amazon rule or is that a Google rule? It's a trademark rule. So you can't put trademark terms into uh, Google ads unless you own the trademark. Save $5 today on Mediviz tea tree eyelid wipes. Um, and then you can see other things here, eye cleaning wipes, tea tree oil wipes. So you can keep writing descriptions and headlines. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put this one, pin it at the top because I want that one to always be number one. And then probably this one, number two. And then that should be good. I, I, I don't like to put a lot. And then in the description, we're just going to put save $5 now on Mediviz tea tree eyelid wipes on Amazon. Extend it out a little bit more. Just take out the vowels. That usually seems to work pretty well. Okay. Eye cleansing wipes save limited sale or something. Like it's it's so funny. Like I, I always think of like the best marketing copy that I can make for these ads uh -huh. always converts the worst. And when I just make it simple and just the search terms, mm. like it, it's crazy how much, how many more clicks we get. Okay. We've had click through rates up to 14% on some of these ads. Oh, and wow. On Google, a good click through rates, like one to 3%. Yeah. That's why the more you can individualize your ads, single keyword ad campaigns. So as few keywords as possible in the ad itself, don't just keyword stuff it. Mm -hmm. And if you make it, you're going to get a higher click through rate, which means Google is going to serve you more. But if you keyword stuff and show for everything, you're going to have a low click through rate and Google's going to stop serving you. Mm. And so really make sure that you're pinpointing it down. So like I would even make a specific one, like lid scrubs for eyes. And that would be the headline lid scrubs for eyes save now on Amazon, something like that. And it will get a, such a high click through rate that on Google that Google will then be forced to show your ads more and more and more. Got it. So we're going to hit save and continue. It's going to redo the analysis and show you your clicks again. Oh, of course, I have an error on mine. Oh, yeah. You have to do the link. The link <laughs> I got to know where to go. <laughs> so let me show you how to make that link. So we have our product right here. I'm going to grab this link. This is just your Amazon link. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to the attribution, which is kind of the point of this whole video or this, mm -hmm. this hack. And we're going to click new order. So we're back in the Amazon attribution screen. We're going to click new order. I am going to name it the same as what I did on Google. So I'm going to pick those products. We're going to add them all. So a lot of people will just pick their product that they're advertising for. I like to pick them all because I like to get bonuses on everything they buy from me. So they may buy more than just the product that you're advertising for. And so if you can, add everything you have, add it all because you're picking the specific link. They're going to show up on this page, but if they buy any of your products, cause your product might be here, your product might be down here. Like these are all my products. Uh -huh. This is my product. This is, this is, this is, this is hack number five, by the way. And this is, this is, this is, this is, these are all my products. So I don't care what they buy. I want that brand referral bonus. So I'm putting every single product of mine into this. Okay. And the reason is, is just because we're sending them to the specific product that we want them to buy. But if they buy any of our other products, we still get a bonus for it. Got so it. So you're basically saying to Amazon, even though they're clicking here, I want to get attribution for any of these, which is kind of a little workaround to get the 10%. So if they ended up clicking on one of your other products and buying it, you still get the 10%. Exactly. You got it. Ah, that's a good idea. All right. So we're going to just name it. I like to name it the exact same as what I did in Google. Easier to track. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to line items. So let me go back and grab this link. Come back over here. So line item name is going to be uh, Google search to Mediviz. I have no rhyme or reason to my nomenclature yet. I don't know okay. how I'm naming them yet. It's just, we're just doing it. So I, I just try to keep most of it the same. Uh, select publisher, you can type in Google, AdWords, search, enter your URL right there. Mm -hmm. You're going to hit create. And this will create the attribution link for you. It takes like 
usually about 10 seconds or so. And then right here, this is your attribution link. This is the link that you want. So we're gonna copy that. Now we're gonna put it in our Google Ads campaign. This is just the display path. It will show amazon.com forward slash eyelid wipes. You can see it right there. And then that's what our ad will look like. So that is key, you know, having that attribution link right there. We'll scroll back down and hit save and continue. It will again do that analysis again, tell you approximately how many clicks you're gonna get. 41 daily clicks, still about the same. Sometimes that changes. 10 keywords, um, like I said, five to 10 max. So you can really customize that ad and you hit publish and it's running.